हे रेजिस्टेंस इज फाइन बट डू यू नो दैट वॉट इज रेजिस्टिविटी आर दे द सेम थिंग और दे आर डिफरेंट एंड इफ दे आर डिफरेंट देन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम प्लीज हेल्प मी आउट वेल आई एम हियर टू हेल्प यू गाइज सो रेजिस्टेंस वर्सेस रेजिस्टिविटी लेट यू टॉक अबाउट इट Okay so I am going to begin this video with a question. So here I have two USB. Now let's assume that this one right this one is made up of silver and this one is made up of copper. Like that was just an assumption that we have to keep in mind. Okay? Now that was the first thing. Now few more things that their length is same as well as the cross sectional area is also the same you can see it here and if you have any doubt then you can just simply assume that they have the same length and the same cross sectional area right so after all this my question is that which of them will provide more resistance right so try to think about it and i will also answer this question in between the video now we are going to talk about resistivity okay so resistivity is denoted by rho it's a greek letter okay now from the previous video we have seen that r is equals to rho multiplied by l by a if you haven't watched the previous video then definitely go and watch it otherwise you will not understand anything here so we have R is equals to rho multiplied by L by that rho is resistivity. Now let's just rearrange the terms here. Okay, so what we will get rho is equals to R multiplied by A by L. Hey, can you see something here? Yes, try to think about it. So here we got that resistivity is equal to resistance. multiplied by unit area and unit length right resistivity is resistance per unit area and per unit length right and uh, if you didn't understood this right now then keep watching the video i will make it even more clear very soon okay so now let me just make the difference between resistance and resistivity very very clear to all of you okay so we are going to use the same relationship here now let's say right now the length is 5 meter and the cross sectional area is 6 meter square right so in that case the resistance is going to be let's say r okay so so it's like you know we have 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm but when we have 100 cm like it become special for all of us so what we do we call 100 cm as 1 m so that is how we can relate it with the resistance and resistivity you know we have various length and the cross sectional area like we have 10 8 7 like all this but in the case when the length is 1 meter and the cross sectional area is 1 meter square in that case whatever the resistance is we call that resistivity right so resistivity is the resistance when the length is 1 meter and the cross sectional area is 1 meter square so it means that we can also say that resistivity is defined as the resistance of a material having a specific dimensions right and what are those specific dimension yes the length is 1 meter and the cross sectional area is 1 meter square right so if we were to take silver right so take a piece of silver which have 1 meter as length and 1 meter square as cross sectional area right we are not talking about the whole surface area we are talking about the cross sectional area the area through which electrons are going to move right 
so if we have that piece measure the resistance and now we call that resistance as resistivity right so now i hope that it it is very clear to all of you that what is the difference between the resistivity and the resistance so now let's talk about our question here so we have these two usb with us this is of silver or this is made up of silver and this is made up of copper now we know that uh, the length are same as well as the cross sectional area is same so what does it mean it means that the whole game or the final answer is dependent on the resistivity of the materials right now we know that resistivity of silver is less than the resistivity of copper so from this what we can say yes that copper has more resistivity it means that it will provide more resistance right so the wire which is made up of copper will provide more resistance so we can see very clearly that this usb is a better option if you want to charge your mobile phone why because silver provide less resistance because it has less resistivity okay so this is a better option but then also most of the wires in our home are made up of copper and the reason is very obvious that silver is not affordable yes silver is very expensive right so that is the reason copper is a better option if you want to use that as a daily purpose now one question you may ask that is that why silver has less resistivity than copper so if you want to answer that question so we have to think about conductivity right resistivity is the opposite of conductivity right so what is conductivity so conductivity is how easily uh, material allow the electrons to flow that is conductivity right so silver and copper like they are different materials and different materials will provide different conductivity right so from conductivity if we were to do opposite of that we have resistivity right so all the materials will have different resistivities right okay so i am hoping that all these things are very very clear to you right now and if you have any doubt you can comment down below okay so now now i am going to tell you few more things which are very important and all of us should know this so the first thing is that if we have a wire of the same material let's say silver so we have a silver piece of 1 meter length of 3 meter length or of 5 meter length in all the cases the resistivity will not change right the resistivity is constant we know that so if we change the length or we change the dimension in that case the resistivity is still going to be constant but the resistance will change right so from this i am trying to tell you that resistivity does not depend on the dimensions of a material like resistivity is going to be constant but resistance changes according to the dimension we already know that resistance is directly proportional to the length and inversely proportional to the cross sectional area but resistivity depends on the temperature because when we increase the temperature the molecules or the atom of a material you know they begin to move really fast they begin to move even more faster right so or we can say that when we increase the temperature the kinetic energy increases right so that is why the resistivity depends on the temperature so temperature and resistivity are directly proportional to each other so these were the two things which we have to keep in mind resistivity does not depends on the dimension but it depends on the temperature and it is directly proportional to the temperature 
okay so i hope that now it is very clear to all of you that what is resistivity and what is the difference between the resistance and resistivity so if you really understood this then don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel if you want more such informative videos right i'll meet you in our next video till then thank you very much for watching